Good morning in Switzerland, because we do have some of our speakers and our hosts who are currently in Switzerland. So welcome again to those who have joined us in our previous webinar. Welcome back. And to those who are first timers in joining our webinar, um, welcome to uh, the first destination training that we are holding because the first one that we had was actually about um, digital marketing. And during the survey that we held for everyone, we asked you what topics you would like to be covered. And the second top one is actually destination training. So we did ask some friends from Switzerland who can help us with this. And because a lot of you were fans or are fans of the hit Korean drama series Crash Landing on You, we decided to also have this webinar inspired by the hit series Crash Landing on You. So I would like to introduce to you our speakers and also our hosts. So we do have Miss Dominic Oi and Miss Jennifer Chin, both from Switzerland Tourism. You can see them on video. Um, they're based in Southeast Asia. So Actually, Ms. Jennifer is the one in charge of the Philippine market. So if you have any questions regarding um, your groups about Switzerland, you can ask them. We have Ms. Zoe, who's currently in their Zurich in their office, but <laughs> she's from their Zurich office. She's at the moment in Zurich, who's going to hold um, the first part of our session. And then we have Ms. Celine from the Interlaken Congress, who's also going to tell us more about Interlaken region, which is where majority of the shooting locations for crash landing on you were shot. So the purpose of this um, webinar is to equip you with the necessary knowledge and skills, because if you have any corporate groups, if you have any incentive groups or leisure groups or meetings and conferences that you would like to plan in Switzerland with the twist in, set, in the sense that you want to incorporate some shooting locations of crash landing on you, then you can learn that here. Any questions that you want to ask, you can ask it at the end of the, the session, although they will try, if they can, to uh, answer it if you put it on chat. So we did have to mute everyone and only the co-host can talk just to facilitate a smooth um, webinar session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat portion of the webinar and you can put in there any questions you would like, um, although we would try to accommodate them at the end of the webinar itself. So without further ado, I would like to give the table now to Ms. Zoe, who's going to start her presentation about Zoe. Thank you very much, Felice. I hope everybody can hear me. Um, so yes, welcome to Switzerland. Um, I would like to introduce myself. As Felice said, I'm uh, based in Zurich, working at the head office of Switzerland Tourism. And my name is Zoe Laporte. Here you see a picture of me uh, just taken a few minutes ago outside on my balcony as I'm working from home, as everybody does. And uh, Felice nicely said it, we would like to introduce you to Dream Now, Travel Later. Um, why is it so important to now dreaming about Switzerland and then traveling later. I think we have a few arguments and I will show you a few spots of the Siri crash landing on you um, where they have been shooted and where you can also come to visit them with your groups and uh, how you could combine it with an incentive um, in Switzerland. So yes, Switzerland. Um, I don't know who of you has been to Switzerland, but if not, it's um, of course would be our dream if you come to Switzerland. And how can you enter Switzerland? Mainly through our five airports. Uh, for you, um, mainly I think you're from the Philippines, uh, is Geneva, um, especially one of the airports that is well connected and Zurich. But you could also enter through Lugano or reaching Switzerland from uh, Milano, from Italy. So down here is uh, Italy, the Italian part where you can enter Switzerland. From Germany, uh, you can enter via Basel, also an airport, or from Austria, and of course also from France. Um, so that, those uh, five airports are very important for us, how we are connected to the world. And Bern has also a small airport. It's our capital city of Switzerland. 
I've shown you here three stars. Those are um, the main shooting areas of the soap crash landing on you. So I will take, um, I will introduce you to the part of Zurich and to the part of Lungen, and then I will hand over the word to Celine with the part of Interlaken. Yes. Yeah, so what do you do when you land in Switzerland? Well, we suggest to travel around in Switzerland with the train, as it's really frankly on Swiss time. Um, they are always leaving. As you see here, he's really looking at the, you see here, it's even the minutes that how the trains are leaving with the tracks and you can find it very easily within the airport, always in the minus one. Um, you then find the tracks and you can take direct trains to mainly the big cities in Switzerland and to travel around really is the easiest way is with the train. Um, or uh, there also you can even rent some special wagons for your groups or to start a meeting on the train or you can also do check-ins on the train you can do quiz on the train for example while you reach your final destination so even the journey to your last destination is then an experience for the clients and how do you travel on the train best is with the swiss travel pass it's a ticket that is even available newly as an e-ticket. You can have it for three, four, eight or 15 days. And it covers really um, the whole public transport system we have in Switzerland. Even three mountains are included that you can use as a, for an excursion, Mount Rigi, Mount Stanzehorn and Mount Stoss. Uh, those three are all located in central Switzerland, but you get 50% um, discount on many other mountain excursions all over Switzerland and even free ad admission of uh, 500 museums. And it's available in first and second class. So if uh, you are interested in this, uh, of course, get in contact with us and we try to help you. We even had uh, last year a first incentive only using train all over Switzerland, only public transport. And they have been very uh, happy with it because then they were always in the city center. The train stations are in Switzerland, always in the city center. They didn't need to um, look out for a parking space for the coach. And they had a lot of um, free things with the Swiss travel pass. Then also what is very interesting is when you land in an airport, you can from there directly send the luggages uh, of your group to the final destination. So here you see from airport to a train station in Switzerland, but you can also send it from airport to a hotel and even from hotel to hotel. So if you have a group um, having overnight at different hotels in Switzerland, uh, you can send the luggages between the hotels and it costs you 300 Swiss francs for 50 luggages. So it's a very interesting offer um, that we have. This is another argument why traveling around with the public transport is then um, so easy. If the train doesn't go anywhere, and the water is there. We have certainly a boat that can take you further um, and have it also a nice experience on the boat, even with a gala dinner or so uh, on the morning uh, or in the morning uh, with a breakfast or dinner. And if the boat doesn't continue anywhere, there will certainly in Switzerland be any bus going somewhere. And if the bus can't reach the top, there's certainly a cable car that can take you and your clients and your groups up to um, have a very nice peak experience on top of the mountains. Now, Switzerland is not only famous for the public transport, but also for the chocolate. Uh, as you all know, all around chocolate, there are a lot of activities that you can do. You can do chocolate tastings, but you can do also um, a workshop with doing your own chocolate. Uh, visiting chocolate factories. There is a new uh, big house of Lindt opening in uh, near Zurich region, for example. So there you have a lot of possibilities to integrate this um, typical Swiss thing, the chocolate in your journey, as well as the cheese. Of course, we have many cheese diaries that you can visit. And also around the cheese, you can do a lot of activities, uh, cheese tasting. You can also produce your own cheese, visiting the cheese diary, learning how cheese is produced. So there we have a lot of ideas for you if you are looking for this. And last but not least, certainly also um, very well known in Switzerland with the theme of watches. Uh, many watch shop shops are in Switzerland, many watches are produced here. There are even some manufactured that you are allowed to go and visit the area. Um, for example, the new Swatch Group headquarter near uh, Bern. Uh, here also we can help you or with a small watch uh, workshop where for VIP groups where you can 
put together your own watch and take it home as a giveaway or as a um, very nice gift to your clients. Now, um, this was a short introduction about really what is Switzerland for you and what it offers for the groups. Now, I would like to show you the scenes that have been shooted in Zurich. Uh, firstly, so in Zurich, uh, two of the famous scene out of Crash Landing on You are um, were shooted at the Münsterbrücke. You see here an uh, aerial view of Zurich with the shopping area here with the Bahnhofstraße and the train station is right up here and here more the old town of Zurich. Um, so here it has been shooted at Münsterbrücke and at Lindenhof Terrace. You see here already on the picture that it's a nice um, green area where it was shooting and it's a bit above the water. So you have a nice view. As you can see here, you certainly all know this picture on the left side out of it. And here on the right side, you can see um, a view from the park, from this Lindenhof Terrace. So this bench here is actually where they are just standing in front of it from the other side looking. So you see here the nice view that you have from above there. And if you are there um, with your groups, there it's possibility to do nice um, pictures, of course, and enjoy the view. And also even on a rainy day, here is a picture of an event from us uh, from last year. You even see that the photographer is nearly standing at the same point in front of the bench. Even then the pictures can be nice if it's not the sunniest day. And the second, as I said, is uh, Münsterbrücke. Here you have a lot of possibilities for pictures, but it's also the bridge linking the old town with the shopping area of Zurich. And as you see, it's very close by walking distance. So um, it's nice for your groups to um, combine it with a city tour, for example, with shopping, but also with a chocolate workshop, for example, in the city. You see it's very easily to combine those visit of the spots and um, how you can integrate Zurich in your journey. Then traveling from Zurich uh, to get to Lungern, we are, across, uh, we are passing by Lucerne and the Lake Lucerne region. Lucerne is very famous for this wooden bridge. You have certainly seen it on pictures before. So here I can highly recommend you if you combine Zurich with Interlaken to on the way stop in Lucerne uh, for lunch, for example, or stroll around the city or a boat trip on the Lake Lucerne. And then, as I said, we continue from Lucerne to reach the second stop um, is uh, Lungen. Lungen is a very small town. Uh, with a small lake and it's on a pass passing to Interlaken mountain pass and there uh, you know this scene that has been shooted there to be honest I didn't found the picture in my own phone um, I don't know I haven't stopped there in the last few years to do a picture of myself here um, but it's a journalist showing around and here you can see that uh, it's really next to the road so people uh, the coach can stop by um, and you can take some pictures out there on your way to Interlaken. And now last but not least we reach Interlaken um, where a lot of scenes have been shooted and I would like to hand over the word to Celine. She will um, show you all about Interlaken and the destination. Celine, can you take over? Yeah, perfect. Hello, everybody, and we're grüß dich miteinander as we greet each other in Interlaken and its region, and a warm welcome to Eventful Interlaken. My name is Celine Landmesser, and I am your main contact at the Convention Bureau in Interlaken. To give you some first impressions, I will, of the beauty of our destination, I will show you a short video clip. Um, Celine, just a note, we are seeing the presenter view. Okay, just try it again. You still see the presenter view? Yes. B 
before it worked. I'm sorry. No problem. Try again. How it works, right? Um, so the presenter view. There you go. Now it works. Now it works? Yeah. Can you see the slide moving? Um, Still not. Share your screen. Can you see oh, it now? now? No, there's no share screen yet. Mm -mm. Can you see it now? Yes, still in presenter view. There, it's better. Now? No, okay. okay. So I'll just show you the short video. Sorry for the interaction. So for the next half hour, I would like to take you on a journey through the destination of Interlaken with Lake Thun region, including also the film locations of crash landing on you. After my presentation, you will hopefully agree that Interlaken has a lot more to offer than just lakes, mountains, and a beautiful natural landscape. To start off, I will touch upon the top five reasons why you should choose Interlaken as your destination in Switzerland. And I can hopefully already convince you that Interlaken is the perfect location for your incentive trip or event. As you can see on the two maps, Interlaken is situated in the heart of Europe and in the heart of Switzerland. What comes with the central location is that Interlaken can be conveniently reached, be it by airplane, train or car. As Zoe already told you, we have the international airports Zurich, Bern, Geneva and Basel. The easiest way to get to Interlaken is to fly to Zurich and from there it is a two hour train ride to our destination. Furthermore, direct high-speed train connections to all major European cities are guaranteed. Once you are in the destination, it is very easy to get around, whether it is by train, boat or car. If you travel by public transportation, you don't have to worry about tickets. Every hotel guest receives a guest card, which includes free use of public transportation in the destination and discounts on a bunch of activities. Reason number three is the stunning natural scenery. As can be seen on the map, Interlaken sits between two lakes and is surrounded by beautiful mountains, such as the famous Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau, which you can see here. Another big advantage when coming to Interlaken is that you have a wide ranging offer in a small area. Most sites, hotels and meeting venues are within walking distance, which means that for example, from the hotel to the meeting location, it only takes you about five to 10 minutes. Last but not least, 
the popular idea of work-life balance can be perfectly achieved in Interlaken. All year round, you have many possibilities to combine business with an attractive social program. Within the next few minutes, I would like to take you into another world, showing you a few film locations of Crash Landing on You. I will start with Kleine Scheidek, a mountain railway station where also a hotel, a hostel and some restaurants are located. You may be familiar with the scenes where the actors look at the paragliders doing turn in the airs, which can be seen on the two pictures on the left-hand side. Kleine Scheidek is the starting point for going up to the Jungfrau Joch, top of Europe. From Kleine Scheidek, you have also fantastic views to the Eiger Mönch and Jungfrau. Kleine Scheidek is marked on the map with a yellow star, the big one can be reached in one hour and 15 minutes by train from Interlaken Ost. You have two possibilities to get there. Either you take the train from Interlaken via Lauterbrunnen, and then you go up to Kleine Scheidegg, or you take the train from Interlaken to Grindelwald, and then all the way up to Kleine Scheidegg. It is also recommended to do a round trip, so going one side up and the other way down as both of the valleys have a different charm. Also one of the most famous excursion points in Switzerland was used as a film location of crash landing on you. I am sure you have all heard about the Jungfraujoch top of Europe. With a height of 3,454 meters above sea level, it is the highest train station in Europe. Popular attractions include the Sphinx viewing terrace, the Lind chocolate shop, the ice palace, the Snowfall Park and the highest post office in Europe and the Jungfrau UNESCO World Heritage Swiss Alps Jungfrau Alec. From Interlaken Ost, it takes you about two hours to get there. It's the same with going up to Kleine Schadeck. You can choose whether to go via Lauterbrunnen or Grindelwald or even do a round trip so you can see all the, both of the valleys. Grindelwald First is another shooting location for the paragliding scene as can be seen on the left. Grindelwald First is called the top of adventure for a reason. You can experience adventure with the first flyer or glider at a speed up to 80 kilometers per hour, on the suspension bridge of the First cliff walk, or on the mountain carts or trotty bikes. The different activities lead you from the top of the mountains all the way down. To get to Grindelwald first, you need to take the train to Grindelwald and then the cable car up to Grindelwald first. It takes you about one hour from Interlaken. Coming to the next filming location in our destination, First Schreckfeld. First Schreckfeld is a cable car station along the way up to Grindelwald first and is also the starting point for the mountain carts which can be seen on the upper right. Schreckfeld is the second cable car station after starting from Grindelwald so, and to Grindelwald first. And it takes you 20 minutes from Grindelwald. I am convinced that you are also familiar with the boat scene on Lake Brienz. As Interlaken is situated between two lakes, you can either do a boat trip on Lake Thun or Lake Prince. The boats are also suited for presentations, company events of any kinds. The cruise on Lake Prince starts from Interlaken Ost and the round trip lasts about one hour and 10 minutes. The boat trip on Lake Thun is a little bit longer as the lake is bigger. Shoren is the trail that is featured in the opening sequence of all episodes of Crash Landing on You, and the two protagonists look at, it, at each other from the opposite side of the street. Shoren is a scenic late side trail in Iseltwald, a typical Swiss village and hidden gem. Also the scene on the wooden landing stage where the protagonist plays the piano is 
was filmed in Iseltwald. The landing stage can be found right in front of the private residences Sea Park, Iseltwald, and next to the boat stop harbor Iseltwald. To get there, you can either take a boat from Interlaken, Ost, to the harbor Iseltwald, or the bus number 103 to Iseltwald Dorfplatz. Then we are coming to two hotels, which are film, also used as film locations for a crash landing on you. One is the Grand Hotel Giesbach. The next scene, which can be seen on the two pictures on the left-hand side, was also filmed there. The hotel was built in the 19th century and was a favorite meeting place of high society until its closure in 1979. In May 1984, the hotel reopened and had been entirely renovated until then. The, offers, the hotel offers not only fantastic views to the lake, but also to the famous Giesbach Falls. To get to the Giesbach Hotel, you can either take the train to Brienz, which I'll show you shortly here, and then the hotel bus or public bus will take you all the way up to the hotel. Or you can take the boat from Interlaken, which takes you to the Giesbach station. And from there it is a historical funicular railway, which take you up to the hotel. The shorter version needs about one hour to get there. And the version with the boat needs about one hour and 20 minutes in total. The last film location is in the Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa, which is situated in the city of Interlaken. It has 216 rooms, and 106 of which 106 are junior suites or suites. In this oasis of hospitality, you can find all the facilities you would expect of a tradition conscious luxury hotel, including two hotels, a bar, two restaurants and two bars. Meanwhile, the 5,500 square meter spa is a world unto itself with its large indoor swimming pool, outdoor brain bath, whirlpools, sauna complex, massage choices, fitness gym and spa nesses range of treatments. Furthermore, 22 conference and banqueting rooms for up to 400 people are available. The capacity of the largest room is 400 people concert, 300 seminar, and 400 reception style. The Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa is situated just in the center of Interlaken, and it takes you about 10 minutes on foot from Interlaken Oz, or five minutes by bus. On the next few slides, I would like to introduce you to the premium partners of our destination, which are aimed specifically at the Asian market and have a lot of experience with hosting Asian guests. There are the five premium partners, including two hotel. One was the one I was just talking about, the Victoria Young Hotel and Spa. Um, and there's also a Congress Center, a mountain railway, and of course the tourist the local tourist organization. Continuing with the Congress Center Kursal Interlaken, which lies in the Alpine setting of Interlaken. The modern architecture of the auditorium, which can be seen on the right-hand side, perfectly complements the historical rooms of the Kursal, the building on the left-hand side here. The, con the park in front of the Congress Center is also ideal for aperitifs or receptions. A total event area of 5,000 square meter make it suitable for almost any occasion. And it has a capacity of over one and a half thousand people. The Congress Kursal Interlaken is suitable for any events, be it for seminars, for meetings, congresses, or also celebrations or gala dinners. The Congress Center has 19 rooms all together, which are all flooded with daylight. The biggest room has a capacity of almost 1,300 people concert, the seminar 700 people, and banquet 1,100 people. 
The Congress Center also offers a variety of architectural features all in one place and the most modern technical solutions as well as a comfortable infrastructure are available. Experienced event technicians will be on hand to support and advise you both in planning and implementation. In addition, the Congress Center also offers in-house catering and foodies are in good hands with the creative team. The Connected Spieker Folklore Restaurant is the perfect place for a rustic, traditional and down-to-earth company dinner, framed by a folklore show. The Spieker Restaurant can seat up to 200 people. The Jungfrau Railway Group is a leading tourism company and the largest mountain railway in Switzerland. It offers its customers an adventure in the mountains and on the train. I already talked about the railway to Kleine Scheidegg, the Jungfrau Joch, and the cable car to Grindelwald Fürst, which also belong to the same company. But there are two mountains for excursions which I will talk about. One is the Schinige Platte, which is a place to slow down the pace and you can enjoy a nostalgic trip on the mountain railway, the breathtaking view from the top, the botanical garden, or you can also listen to the, to the Alporn players giving a little concert. And then Hardekholm is Interlaken's so-called home mountain. And you take a small railway up to the Hardekholm, which is on 1,322 meters above sea level. And the ride only takes you about eight minutes. And from the top, you have a nice view on both of the lake as well as Interlaken, the city, and also on the surrounding mountains. Hardikholm is also ideal for meetings, seminars, and events, as the new building offers a seating for up to 130 people and two other rooms from 55 up to 80 people. If you love the proximity to open water and the nature, the four-star Superior Hotel Sepp Park in Thun offers a perfect setting for your event. It is situated on the shore of Lake Thun, surrounded by the Shadow Park, and has views of the Eiger, Mönch, and Jungfrau in the background, as you can see on the picture. An address right by the water's edge, compromising 85 modern guest rooms, four junior suites, and two panoramic suites, all of which are bright, elegant, and stylish. The Congress Hotel Sepp Park Thun has won numerous awards as a venue for seminars and conferences. There are 17 plenary seminar and group rooms with plenty of natural light, offering the perfect setting for conferences, meetings, workshops, and seminars. The largest room has a capacity of 370 people concert, about 150 seminar, 250 banquet and 250 reception style. The guests can also enjoy a special experience in the hotel's own wellness and fitness area and the gourmet restaurant completes the offer. The natural surroundings offer opportunities for walking and jogging. By the lake, water is the central element. Stand-up paddles, kayaking, canoeing, and guided tours provide a kick of freshness. In total, in Interlaken and the Lake Thun region, we have about 900 rooms in the five and five-star segment. And in Interlaken, we have one five-star superior hotel, which is the Victoria Jungfrau Grand Hotel and Spa, and one five-star hotel, which can be seen on the picture. Furthermore, we have around 2,387 rooms in the four and four star superior segment and around 3,300 in the three and three star segment. On the next few slides, I will tell you more about social programs around Interlaken. Once you have visited all filming locations of Crash Landing on you, and if you have still more time, you can still visit some other fantastic activities or sites. 
In Interlaken, we also have a casino, which is located in the same building as the Congress Center. You can have fun, whether it's with American roulette, blackjack, poker, or slot machines. The top of Europe Ice Magic is a winter adventure in the world, winter adventure world in the heart of Europe. You can experience active fun, whether it is with ice skating or Bavarian curling. The extensive selection of food and drink and a cozy winter lounge invite you to stop and relax. One of also the famous things that you can do in Interlaken is if you take a flight with the helicopter. In, a complete, in complete accordance with your desires, the helicopter opens unique possibilities for employee or company events. You can top off your event with a flight to the famous Eigermönchen Jungfrau, book culinary highlights for a glacier aperitif. You can combine your event with team building and outdoor activities, or you can rent the hangar for special events. The Funky Chocolate Club is an ideal team event, as the team will show you how to create your own chocolate. They will show, share with you the techniques, tips, and tricks of tempering, melting, curing, and filling molds. You will learn more about the origin of chocolate and how to recognize the different flavors. The professional chocolatiers will show you how to create your own masterpieces. You can also take a seat in Switzerland's only jet boat and enjoy an unforgettable trip through the impressive scenery and with full 360 turns on one of the most beautiful lakes in Switzerland, Lake Prince. The captain will also share with you interesting information about the lake and its surroundings. Chatbot also offers tailor-made soft adventure and event solutions for groups of any kinds. At the summit of the Schildhorn at 2,970 meters above sea level, you can enjoy a panorama of 200 mountain peaks, including also the famous Eiger Mönchen Jungfrau. You can also treat yourself and your guests with a festive dinner for up to 300 people at the revolving restaurant Piz Gloria, or you can visit the James Bond exhibition, the view platform, or the Walk of Fame. With the Segway tours in Interlaken, you can experience the town in a different way. You can enjoy the unique, thrilling experience on the initiative Segway and move effortlessly from one beautiful location to the next one. Never before has the combination of culture and innovative technology be so much fun. Heidi's Photo Chalet is the one and only pure Swiss themed photo studio in Interlaken. At Heidi's Photo Chalet, you can, may create unique Swiss traditional photographs or host a spectacular event for a special occasion. They also rent out traditional Swiss outfits or you can also buy them. Another attractive social program is the Open Air Museum Ballenberg. During a guided tour, you will learn about life in the Alps, as well as lots of interesting facts about medicinal herbs or traditional Swiss handcrafts. Grindelwald and the entire Jungfrau region offer the ideal setting for attractive social programs and adventure programs. The team of Eiger Vision looks forward to working with you, making your event an accomplished, successful, and unforgettable experience for both you and your guests. Walking Tours offers the possibility to discover the beauty and history of Interlaken with a local guide. They give you unique insights into the local culture and traditions during a cheese or chocolate tasting, farm visit, and many other tours. As you may or may not know, Interlaken is said to be Europe's adventure capital. And Outdoor Interlaken has been the outdoor adventure expert in Switzerland since 2001. The adventure activities will motivate your team, bring dynamism to the company, 
inspire customers, and leave lasting impressions. You can strengthen your team spirit with river rafting, paragliding, canoeing, snowshoeing, or on a leisurely rubber dingy trip on the Are. Now we are traveling a little bit further in our destination. And I've already talked about Grindelwald, which is a mountain village embedded in a unique alpine scenery at the foot of the famous Eiger North Wall, Eiger North Face. It is the diversity of the glacier village that attracts people both in summer and also in winter. The Hotel Romantic Hotel Schweizerhof combines traditional style with an exclusive design. Modern conference rooms and the unique scenery of the Bernese Overland are the perfect creative backdrop for your event. For exclusive events are three conference and rooms and seven breakout rooms for smaller meetings at your disposal. The versatile four-star wellness and seminar hotel in Grindelwald has 218 rooms, comfortably furnished and a wonderful spa center that invites you to relax and unwind. In addition, seven, seven seminar and three group rooms are available. Traveling further in our destination to Spiez, which is nestled on the Bay of Lake Thun with the historical castle, the vineyards, and with an impressive mountain backdrop. You will love this extraordinary place. At the foot of the pyramid-shaped Niesen, Spiez offers also a range of excursions, possibilities, and accommodations. One of the accommodations is the Eden Spiez, which is a four-star superior hotel offering 45 furnished rooms and junior suites. In the exclusive lake resort on Lake Thun, you will find a restaurant, a bistro bar, a smoker's lounge, a wellness and spa center, and a separate conference center. All nine meeting rooms offer unique panoramic views. The Belvedere Strand Hotel and Restaurant with a direct view of the Bay of Spiez is a four-star superior hotel. The four seminar rooms offer an ideal place to work, the gourmet kitchen provides culinary highlights, and the 36 rooms offer restful sleep. And there's also a Bellwell Spa which invites you to relax. Coming to Thun, which is the city of, well, the city of Thun, and it is also said to be the gateway of the Alps. You can see this one is a city in front, and in the back you can see the unique mountain backdrop. It is a successful combination of mountains and lakes, as well as of historical buildings and contemporary buildings. You can be enchanted by the charm of the town on the Are and discover the fantastic range of possibilities. Also there we have some good business hotels, for example, the Delta Park, which is a four-star superior hotel, which offers an inspiring and relaxing environment as it's surrounded by a nature reserve on the shore of Lake Thun. 106 rooms, three lakeside villas and suites, 13 seminar rooms, wellness, and four restaurants are waiting for you. A range of interesting outdoor activities will perfectly complement your seminar or conference. The Hotel Holiday welcomes you just outside too near the boat harbor. This is the ideal place for a business trip. You can enjoy the magnificent view of Lake Thun and the stunning natural alpine scenery. The hotel has 59 rooms and three seminar rooms. The business hotel Freienhof is idyllically situated on the edge of Thun and is surrounded by the river Arde. The four-star house is set in a central location, just a five minute walk from the train station. The hotel has 66 rooms and nine meeting rooms for up to 250 people. And the last location of Thun is a multifunctional exhibition center, which is called Thun Expo. It is a basis for events of all kinds and it can hold up to 2,000 people. 
Interlaken is always on the move and here's just some of our latest news. Until December 2020, the Grindelwald Männlichen Cableway and Jungfrau Railways are building a cableway to Eiger Gletscher and Männlichen starting from a joint terminal in Grindelwald Grund. Travel times to the Jungfrau ski region and the Jungfrau Joch will be shortened by 47 minutes. The terminal in Grindelwald Grund will also be a shopping center and a thousand spaces car park. The timeless Donna Anna, an original Venetian boat, invites you to discover and enjoy Lake Prince. On the move in the canals of Venice at a young age, she is now available for an unforgettable trip on the most beautiful lake in Switzerland. Whether for an exciting private tour, a culinary excursion, or a journey of discovery of Swiss culture, come on board and enjoy the breathtaking nature. The former city hotel Oberland in Interlaken presents a new concept for the well-being feeling. The hotel will be remodeled until the end of May with modern hotel rooms, an open lobby concept with restaurant and bar, as well as lounges and an open service culture. And last but not least, we are on the move too. Our team at the Convention Bureau in Interlaken brings all the regional service providers under one roof and creates a one-stop shop for, one, for you to have one single point of contact. Our team does not only reserve hotel rooms, congress and seminar venues, it also supports you with the organization of conferences and events. In addition to organizing support programs and excursions, we can also arrange pickups and transfers, organize catering, technology, event personnel, decoration, or giveaways. Please let us know how we can support you. We are more than happy to do so. Thank you very much for your attention and we hope to see you soon in Interlaken. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat or please do not hesitate to contact me via email. Thank All you right. very much, Celine. You I really much. want to now go and visit those places, especially after looking for the at the soap. I think I, if you stop sharing, then I can take back the sure. PC. Perfect. Now everybody should be able to see my screen again, I hope. So thank you very much for this in, uh, very um, interesting and I think very complete uh, overview of the destination we now have. So um, I would like to let you know that if now you heard a lot of information, of course, you took some notes, I guess, but there is also something to support your brain and your memory, at least I need it. And it's our website, uh, it's called myswitzerland.com slash meetings. And on this website, we have really a lot of information that you can use for your daily work when dreaming about Switzerland and planning for the future travels. And um, so we have some incentive itineraries, for example, that you can see online, but you also have a really um, large menu about inspiration, why Switzerland, the different destinations. We have some reference um, from other events that have been held in Switzerland under the planning. You have all the venues, the social programs, um, some proposals for themed um, events if you want to have in Switzerland, and also all our services that we offer as the Switzerland Convention and Incentive Bureau. And all kinds of things are all sort um, together in our online venue finder. This one I can really recommend you because you can add with this icon here to your favorite list and you can put together a whole program that you can then save as a PDF with hotels, location for events, social programs. As I said, we also have the wedding locations online, catering, different videos and so on. So I really recommend you to go online and check out our um, venue finder. And Felice uh, nicely introduced Jennifer already at the beginning. I would just like to mention that she's newly working in the office with um, uh, Dominic based in Singapore. And she is uh, 
along other markets, among other markets, also responsible for the Philippines and destination wedding. So there, don't hesitate to contact her on our website. And I think uh, two of those you know here, um, Dominic and myself, and this is our email address um, where you can get in contact with us. So before we now go over to the questions you certainly have, um, I think we had the idea with Felice, right, to everybody turn on their video. Yes, so um, everyone, if you could just turn on your video, we could do a group photo. <laughs> um, you would need actually Zoe to remove the screen share so that we can- Ah, uh, okay, sorry, yeah, enough. I stopped sharing. Yeah, there, and then gallery view. Now we can see everyone in their house clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't turned on my video yet. Yeah, so I think okay. we can only have 25 okay. maximum on the photo. Say cheese. <laughs> and um, I would like, uh, in the count of three, can everybody turn on your microphone and say, um, in love with Switzerland? One, two, two. Oh, let's unmute everyone. Right, they're all Filipino. At a count of three, uh, I need you to stay in love with Switzerland. Okay, so I had to mute everyone just so it will be much better. Feel free to unmute yourselves. Let me see Dominic, Celine. So um, I'd like to also add on that um, for those who participate, we would also, uh, I'll be sending uh, Phyllis a, a, a certification for uh, as a gift uh, to all of you that participated and uh, she will reach out to all of you. Um, I will. And then now we are open to our, if you have any questions, please uh, let us know. Feel free to send your questions over on the chat. Don't be shy. I do have a question for Celine though. A while ago you mentioned that there is, so the hotels can give the group or the passenger free transport cards that they can use. Is this only for Interlaken or does this also apply in Zurich? Um, that is also in the whole Switzerland that can, that they receive the guest card. It's in pretty much every location in Switzerland. It's the same that they receive the guest card from the hotel and they can get free use of public transportation. And then depending on which city they are in, they also get um, a discount on a bunch of activities on, for example, a mountain trip or a mountain excursion or things like that, but then it depends on in which city they are in. Okay, thank you. We do have one question from Miss Jane. How many days will it take to visit all the crash landing on new sites? Well, it Just depends on our destination. I think she is asking more for a whole Switzerland, the ones we presented, all the sceneries. So, I mean, I recommend you at least uh, I mean, three nights, four, four days is perfect. I would say for the long haul visit, if you come to Switzerland already, of course, you can also combine it in, two, uh, in uh, three days. So one Zurich and two in the Interlaken region. Um, I would say at least three days you need to spend if you really want to go and see all sides of it and enjoy it and uh, can do some activities around it. Okay. Any more questions? 
So how do you prepare the clients who are taking the Jungfrau tour? I noticed that there were a lot of visitors who are experiencing altitude sickness. Okay, the thing when going up to the top of Europe, um, well, the good thing is that you have a stop in at Kleine Scheidegg. And for those who are not used to the height, I always suggest them to do a stop about half an hour. So leave one train out and get used to the height and then take the last bit up to the Jungfrau Joch. And then it's always important to drink a lot of water and to walk slowly because you're not used to the height and it, you can, it takes your breath and your breath more hardly than usual. So it's always important to just um, take it slowly and drink a lot of water, but then it's totally fine. So we have one. What month is the best to visit Switzerland from Miss Kim? Well, there isn't a bad month, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> there is just a different uh, experience that you have in different months. Um, so um, high season is between March and June, September to um, and October. So the ra rates there are a little bit higher. It's why I also recommend you to come out of the high season, as we say here. Um, of course, we have the four seasons in Switzerland, which is very special because we have the winter, we have spring, we have autumn and we have the summer feeling. So it's a little bit depending on what you are looking for. Um, as I said, there isn't a bad month there. We don't have like a rain season or so, uh, as you could call it. Um, so therefore you could come any time of the year. But if you have a group um, that you are thinking about, just get in contact with us and we try to best um, help you out uh, depending on what you want to see, which month then is best to correspond with your journey. All right, we have another one. Um, they're asking if they can have a copy of the presentation to be sent to their emails. Uh, yes, we will do a follow up. We said yesterday, yes, you will uh, get it. Okay. Um, by the way, we are also going to send to everyone the recorded webinar so that if you want to review something, you can go back to it. Um, regarding the group size to tour around, considering boat cruise capacity, hotel capacity, Jungfrau, and activities at the top of Europe, what is do you think would be the maximum that you could accommodate? Um, for you, for whole Switzerland. Sorry, I thought it's more for Interlaken, but um. There isn't really a, you know, there isn't a maximum group size, of course, traveling around or staying in a hotel, um, 100 packs is perfect to travel around. Um, afterwards, it depends on how much, you know, uh, side activities if you want to have, if you um, say that you're also able to split up uh, the groups, because then you can go up to 300. I mean, there isn't really um, uh a size that we can say only with this it fits in for Switzerland. I think for the one who asked for the capacities, um, the website that uh, Zoe was able to show you a while ago can also show you the capacities of the venues and also the activities and the information that they're also going to pass on after the this webinar will also have that. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, I'd like to just to add on, uh, in any case that if you have a larger group size, for example, um, you can always reach out to us uh, and we would uh, assist you, I mean, it's free of charge our service to plan the logistics and the program uh, for you so that you could uh, have your tour operator uh, of your list to, to do the quotation for you. Um, I, I saw that in the chat that we also asking for um, some rates. Uh, we don't have this rate, so you it's best uh, that you contact uh, Felice uh, regarding this when you have the request. Yes. So for all those who are asking about FIT packages and rates, of course, if it's a conference or if it's an incentive group or a corporate group, then you can send us. We will customize it for you. We'll also with the help of the 
of the ladies with regards to planning your meetings. We'll also do that. We'll give you all the necessary um, suggestions, but for FIT packages, we do have them ready and we will send them to you after this um, for the rates for certain, for example, for crash landing on you, we have something actually in store for everyone. So it's a surprise. Just wait for the email and make sure that you actually read the email later on because it's a, it's a surprise contest for everyone. So if um, later after the webinar, please make sure that you check your emails or maybe tomorrow morning the latest so that you can see what the, the contest would be about. It's basically if you listen to the entire webinar, it will be able to help you. And if you also use the tools that Zoe and, um, and Salim are able to share with you, then you'll be able to, I think, win the contest. So let's see about that. Good luck to all of you. <laughs> so someone was asking, is there snow in Grindel Grindelwald first? Is it year round like mountainless? No, it's not. In Grindelwald first, it's only like in winter time, maybe from the end of this uh, November until probably March. Um, it's the same as in the valley, pretty much in Grindelwald. So the snow starts at, depending on the season. It starts the end of November. And then in December, we have snow for sure. The only place in our destination where we have snow all year round is the Jungfrau Joch top of Europe. There you have snow even in summer. Okay. All right. With regards to fam trip, actually, you will have to ask them to. <laughs> so at the moment, um, Given the situation that we have now, we cannot promise that we can host a fam trip for this, but we do have um, for all the agents who wish to experience Switzerland, we do have with Europe on the vacations. If you are a travel agent, you do get a 50% discount for all of our tours and they do have a seven day and a five day trip to Switzerland alone. So if you're interested in that, we can also send you some details about that. All right, so any more questions from everyone? I saw that there's also a question about when the most suitable time to do the paragliding is. Mm -hmm. So it actually doesn't matter because they also do paragliding in winter. The most important thing is to have um, the perfect weather to do the paragliding, but you can do it in summer as well as in winter. In winter, you will get the warm clothings so it's not a problem. You can do it all year round. Someone is asking more or less how much is the paragliding activity? It always depends on the tour. There are tours from 140 Swiss francs to 180 Swiss francs, mostly in our destination. And there is an age limit to it, right? Um. It always depends on the company that is doing the paragliding. They have the restrictions. Okay. But I think you can also do it at a, from a young age on. Okay. Don't worry. Um, in Switzerland, it's always safe. Don't worry that if you take the paragliding activity, you're not going to be whisked away to North Korea. So <laughs> there are no tornadoes <laughs> in Switzerland. <laughs> Yeah, then we can meet the uh, Captain V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's in South Korea in quarantine yeah. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so we now. couldn't invite him. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time when we visit it, when we visit Switzerland, they might have pictures of Captain Re on the side of Lake Lungern or something, or. <laughs> <laughs> the landing stage in uh, Itzelwald, so that would be a nice touch to it, so that people can at least feel that they are with Captain Ree when they take a picture. <laughs> All right, so it seems there are no more questions coming from our agents. If there are none, Thank you again to all of the, the beautiful ladies from the Swiss Convention and Incentive Bureau. Um, they're can you please flash back again to the contact details? They have 
their contact details here if you need any help planning your incentives, your corporate groups, your meetings and um, whatnot, then you can ask them. Feel free to email them. Feel free to also use the tools that they sent us. They're going to send us as well. I'm going to give you or I'm going to send a thank you email to everyone. Everyone copied in so that we can also send to you all the kits, all this, the toolkits, all the information, even the recorded version of the web. I think we lost Felice. Yeah. Felice? Felice. Well, maybe the connection, everybody is using the internet. Yeah. Hello? Is somebody from Felice's team hearing us? Let's see in the chat. Hi, sorry, this is Felice. I just disappeared oh. for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, you can show them the video. Yeah, perfect. So thank you very much all for listening to us. And uh, we hope to welcome you soon in Switzerland. And we leave you with a short video. It's called Dream Now, Travel Later perfectly matching the theme of today. Thank you very much. Have a nice evening to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.